to lower your cholesterol naturally. Harvard Medical School says to cut out certain fats, back down on sugar and grain intake, and increase your fruit and veggie intake. But when lifestyle changes aren't enough, should you go to statins? Ursula Perry shows us the pros and cons. It's common knowledge that having high cholesterol can put you at risk. Our guidelines have suggested that lower and lower levels of the bad cholesterol, LDL, are associated with a reduction in the risk of death, heart attack, and stroke. The CDC says 102 million Americans have high cholesterol. Now there are tens of millions of patients that take these cholesterol-lowering drugs, the statins. Mayo Clinic says there's still some debate surrounding these drugs. Common side effects include nausea, headaches, and even more serious effects like liver damage, increased blood sugar, type 2 diabetes, and memory loss. Mayo also lists those who may be at a greater risk for side effects, including women and people over the age of 80. But the FDA says that the benefit of statins in reducing heart attacks and strokes should outweigh the unlikely risks. Before making a decision, talk to your doctor about family history, C-reactive protein levels, and any history of gestational diabetes. If you're currently taking statins, an important tip. The FDA says don't drink grapefruit juice. Apparently, grapefruit juice can interfere with some statins, and that means the medication won't be working properly. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.